you know, that little message that always pops up saying this thing is not recording without the microphone on is not on. It means I'm recording. And I discovered what the glitch is. Here in this camera, it says HD Webcam 2C270. Then there's a real tech one. That's why a lot of times the videos with no with no audio. And I look like the scene from Wayne's World. So how's everybody doing this uh, Wednesday morning, afternoon? It is Wednesday, 1.03 p.m. And God, I look orange. This is the problem with this room sometimes, the lighting. I'm right under the light. And, and this is a blue backdrop. When I use the red backdrop, I look really ugh, red. I know what's missing. Give me a second. Not my cup of coffee. Give me a second. I know what's missing. Turn off the light. You see that? I look better. But there's something else. Damn it. Move out of the way. There we go. Is there much of a difference now? Is my face... No. This side. Look at this. That's the light of the sky. It's a nice sunny day, but it's cold outside. Not as bad as it was at the beginning of the month where it was the digit degrees, but you know, it's okay. It's okay for the time being. And I'm really missing something right now. I don't know what I'm missing. I could, I mean, the backdrop is fine. Blue backdrop, I know what I'm missing. Or am I supposed to be doing something? Where am I supposed to be right now? I gotta be somewhere right now and I don't know where. Hold on, there we go. Now my face is cropped up. Or is it? Now I know what I need. I know what I need. You see this? You see this? This has not been cut since uh, June of last year. Right before the end of the month. That was the last time I got a haircut. That's what I need. And you know what's funny about this rat tail? I started growing this thing in July of 2008. That means that this thing is going to be 10 years old. And it's not really that long. Even I've cut the end sometimes. So I will step out right now because i got to go take a trip. So I will. And you know, I'll be right back. Two hours later. Ah! What the hell just happened? You saw just what just happened right there? I stepped up for a minute and look. Look at this. I got a haircut already. You know when was the last time? I just said it before. You know when was the last time I got a haircut? It was June of 2017. I have not had a haircut since. And you know why? Because my hair grows really fast and it, it will stay the same length. I could pull off the nice really long hair, but it gets too itchy after a while. It's come in handy in the winter time. But I guess I just got my hair cut over there near my old neighborhood. It cost me 13 bucks or was it 12? No, it was 12, no, it was 13 bucks. 13 bucks for a cheap haircut. I argued with my brother. He said that he could get, he gets good haircuts, but he's got to go to the Spanish neighborhood and get haircuts from the Puerto Rican guys. But I always had this feeling when I go to the Puerto Rican barbers or the black barbers, I don't belong there. Want to know why? I'm not cool enough to be in there. But yeah, I got a haircut. And if for those of you who are wondering, the rat tail is still here. You know what I laugh? A lot of the jabronis and humanoids and ham and eggers out there say the same thing. They tell me to get change this haircut. It doesn't look right. I've been hearing that my whole life. You could be insecure. You could be an individual. Or you could be a sheep. But here's my story. I've been hearing that since first grade. Change your haircut. Uh, everybody picked on me. I had spiky hair. I had the Sonic the Hedgehog hairdo. Then came 1997. High school was about to begin for me. And I said, I'm going to grow my hair long. I was watching wrestling on TV, and badass Billy Gunn, who wrestled at the time as Rockabilly, had long hair. And I liked that haircut, the undercut thing. Well, long hair got me a lot of heat with with my dad, because my dad's very conservative, not, not a Trump supporter. He's just a very conservative where he comes from. These, these yuts from where I come from, they like to think of themselves as conservatives, but they're more vulgar than ghetto people who live in the projects. Long hair not allowed. Blew. The editor's father, same thing, gave me crap about long hair. And I just said, you know what? Yeah, I can't show it to you. Censor. You, you want to know why? Because the minute I drop a look, people will claim it it's theirs. 
when I said goodbye to my long hair in 2000 in, in uh, no when I said when I said goodbye to the spiky hair let's go back to the beginning when I said goodbye to my spiky hair in 1997 all of a sudden all the jabronis and all the humanoids and ham and started gelling up their hair porcupine like looking like Sonic the Hedgehog these clowns look like Sonic the Hedgehog and I'd be wondering, I want to know if these guys are bald now because they used a lot of gel. They use more gel than me. Gel on my hair is not good because it dissolves really fast. Well, then came, let me see, that was 97. By 98, I had long hair officially. Some people liked it. Other girls hated it. And the girls make me laugh too. And then, and then another thing was, well, we'll get to the fashions in the later. Then came 2003. No, actually, no, it was 2000 where I cut my hair because the editor's father was was very conservative his father was coming to town the editor's grandfather was like cut your hair because he wants it the hair to look right and like i said before these yuts these yahoos where i come from they like to think i'm some sort of conservative people yeah right and i'm frank zappa and it got me a lot of heat with the two hours later for some of the excess uh i had that uh kind of like what my my previous hair do it was but i didn't i didn't have a ponytail yet then I got rid of my hairdo officially. I got rid of my long hair officially in 2003. When I got rid of my long hair because of stupid politics in California, they don't allow long hair. All of a sudden, all the kids over there and some of my friends here, again, some of my friends here, and I'm looking at you, Albert, all you motherfuckers, all you, all you son of a guns grew out your hair. All of you. The same people who clown on me for having long hair, all of a sudden you grew it, and then and then they were like, I never said that. I never said long hair was bad. They said hair hair the hairdo was was uh, for you know, like this. This is back when you were you were allowed to make fun of them. Now you can because if you do, you get in trouble. So when I said goodbye to my long hair, they started growing their their hair. It's like they wait for me to get rid of the hairdo. They 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 wait for me to get rid of the hairdo so they can grow it and claim it it's theirs. Same thing with fashion. You think you guys are being unique wearing tight ass jeans or skinny jeans? I was wearing that shit way before it was cool. My friends back then gave me a lot of heat saying that it was, uh, it looked too 80s, which it was. I, that's where I got the look from. And then fast forward, what, a couple of months? No, I started wearing tight ass jeans in 1998. Again, wrestling related because I was a big fan of Stone Cold Steve Austin. I tried to look like him with the tight ass jeans tucked in shirt, but I had a ponytail that made me look more like Scott Hall. When I said goodbye to my long, when I said when I said goodbye to tight ass jeans in officially in 2005 because I put on too much weight in college, coffee and donuts every morning. All of a sudden, every kid started wearing tight jeans. Now, mind you, these jeans were not exactly they weren't tight by today's standards. They're baggy by today's standards, even though they're they're, they're still. You know, they're still a little bit roomy, but, you know, not that skinny. And they became tighter and tighter. They look like Howard from the Big Bang. They were wearing those tight-ass pants. You can't even feel your groin. I didn't wear them that tight because I got big thighs. So, again, you clowns wait for me to get rid of a hairdo or a fashion so you could claim it as yours. So, you know what? There, I said it. Okay, folks. Now that I got the fashion debacle out of the way, let's do something more entertaining for you guys. Let's open up some fan mail. Yes, people, I, I've actually had people email me, no, not email me, they actually mailed me fan. Uh, they, I got, to, let me see now. I had, I had fans mail me letters. There you go. There, I said it. I got tongue twisted. So here it is. Let's show you guys my first letter. It's from American Express. Let's open up this letter. What does it say? American Express enjoys 0% intro, uh, intro APR 15 months on purchases. Zero annual fee. They always say that, but they always sucker you in. Like college salesmen, like college people who try to sell you to go to college. They're all con men. Teachers are the same way, too. Sorry if you're an education teacher. And this letter says, 15 points, 15 points, dear Mr. Uh, Silvercats TV. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to give you guys my real name. If you know me already, you know my name. I don't have to tell you my name. If you know me already, you know what it is. Back to the letter. It says, Dear the MX Everyday Credit Card Rewards, you the, the Amex Everyday Credit Card rewards you for how often you shop, not just how much you spend, whether it's the, at the grocery store, the coffee shop, or online. Every little thing counts. They offer me 0%. I just read it. Currently 17.9%. 0.99%. After that, your APR will be variable rate. 
earn 15,000 membership rewards and whatnot and so forth. Offer expires March 20th, 2018. I'm pretty good with dates. That's going to be the anniversary of my car accident. Uh, and it gave me a brochure. It says, a card for you every day. I like hanging on to these things sometimes. I cut these things and I put cash in them. Let's open up another letter. What do you know? For those of you college jabronis out there, nothing wrong with you wanting to go to college. I mean, it's mandatory. Like that movie Orange County. Why do you want to go to college? Because that's what you do after high school. That was that movie with Jack Black and that other guy. And, and the girl from that movie, Snow, uh, uh, Snow Day or something like that. Anyway, my American Education Services. Please see other side for details. American, Ex American Education Services. P.O. Box 24461, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. 17105 number 800 233 0557 by the way i read you guys my number not the account number uh 2017 student loan 6 uh uh, uh, uh let me see now i i have saved 764 and 38 cents from 1098e instructions for borrower I'm up to date with these guys. I'm paying them more than the minimum because I want to get rid of this loan already. I was in college 12 years ago. And that was not a good experience in college. I wanted college to be like Animal House. I was going to change my name to Bluto and D-Day. But, you know, that's that's the big colleges. And, I don't know, movies lie to you. So, yes, I became a victim of believing what you see in movies. Just like you ladies who watch movies and you think Prince Charming is going to be like one of them chick flick type jabronis. And he ends up being some, I don't know, Anyway, best. Here's my next letter. It's from Best Buy. Best Buy, P.O. Box 6204, Shouks Fall SD 57117 6204. Statement enclosed. I don't owe them any money. Or do I? February due. No, I paid them already, though. I paid them a total of $100.46.93. Believe me, it was higher than that, though. It was, I think, 200 That's how much I spent on Christmas this year for all my friends and family. I even gave some gifts to family. And I owe, again, to $146.93. And I must mail it to Best Buy Credit Services, P.O. Box 78009, Phoenix, Arizona, 850692-8009. And my credit is... It doesn't say... All I know is that the minimum payment is $27 and is due February 2nd. Okay. Now, last but not least, my other letter. Why am I getting stuff from State Farm? New York State Health Insurance. Let's see what this letter has to say. I forgot when I'm doing these letters, I got to raise them up like this. Because you can't see what I'm doing here. Here's another letter for you. New York State of Health. Albany, New York. P.O. Box. 11775. Instruction for recipient. Uh, additional information about the tax provision, yada, 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 whatnot, and so forth. Uh, Reception individual health coverage. Basically, what they're letting me know that we don't want you here anymore, and uh, yada, 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 whatnot, and so forth. So there you have it. That's my fan mail of the week. I hope you guys like this video. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I was waiting to get a haircut. Now, I just hope that this year doesn't turn out like 2016. Because in 2016, I waited almost a month to get a haircut after the year was or had already started. And they say it is not good because you bring other crap from the previous year into the new one. Now that's scary. Surprisingly, 2017, while not that good, was not bad either. It was better than 2016. I'm trying to avoid deja vus. Okay, folks, I will see you guys later. And uh, I haven't thought about what intro should you I use. Deja vu? Should I use... The or uh, the uh, orchestral music from the Barber episode of Seinfeld, the Brutus the Barber Beefcake episode, uh, uh, theme, episode theme. I get words twisted. Oh well, I'm lost. Anyway, I see you guys later, and I must give this video to the editor so he could take care of it. And what do you know? It's dawn already. It's no, sorry, it's dusk. I forgot. From dusk till dawn, it's starting to turn till dusk. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Signing off. Thank mm -hmm. you.